Hi you guys! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to achieve this look using really affordable products. None of the products um, exceed $10 and most of them are under $5 or just right there at $5. So I hope you enjoy and yeah, let me know if you want to see more content like this in the future. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to use guys is this LA Girl Pro Prep Primer. And I've already put some of it on my face. If you can see, it really, really, really filled in some of those pores. I'm going to put some more on my forehead. And it's just right, really nice and blurring. And I find that my foundation that I put on on top of this always looks really, really nice. Oh, and guys, this is $5. So yeah, a steal. Hey guys, so the next thing that we have is the Believe Beauty Skin Finish Foundation. Guys, I got this from Dollar General. And it has a glass packaging, which is just so cool for drugstore. And I'm just going to buff this into the skin. And I don't know if I said yet, but $5. It's $5. And guys, look at how skin-like this makes my face still. Like, do you see that? The coverage on this, I would say, is like a medium to full. But you can really, really get it to full if you're wanting that. And yeah, I just feel like it looks super healthy on my skin. And guys, $5 and glass packaging. Um, If you go to the drugstore, a lot of times, like, for example, like the Maybelline uh, or L'Oreal Infallible or whatever, like, that's like $11 and it doesn't even give you... A glass packaging like which i mean it's whatever like everyone has their preferences some people don't really like glass but i just think that that's really cool that they were able to do that you know and the product is five dollars from dollar general like i think that's crazy it's always kind of difficult for me like when i'm trying to do like my forehead and stuff because i always get scared that i'm gonna get the foundation on my brows and usually I would buff my foundation on the neck way more than what I'm doing right now. But I have this burn right here that I don't really want to irritate too much. So yeah. Okay, so now this... this um, okay guys, so the concealer is definitely one of those things that is going to go over the $5 limit. I think it's like 6 or $7. Um, but this is the elf hydrating camo concealer and guys i love this like guys i'm gonna show you the quality of this so as you can see i blended this side but i'm gonna blend this side with you guys and as you can see the coverage is you know again like pretty medium to full but you can definitely work this one up to full i also feel like the uh the foundation that this one is super duper hydrating like the label says um i prefer this one more than the regular camo concealer by elf which one do you guys like if you've tried both oh and if you're coming over on to my channel from a uh, tiktok um let me know in the comments below so as you guys can see so far so good really really hydrating and dewy looking which is the look that i usually go for so for powder it should come as no surprise that i picked the fit me by maybelline i love this one i'm gonna go ahead and set those under eyes and guys i haven't lately been setting my whole face I've just been setting my under eye area, lip where I put the concealer, like laugh line area, a little on the nose, and then definitely the forehead because I don't really like it when my forehead looks too, too, too shiny. And guys, this powder is actually $5. So we're going to move on to the bronzer because we are looking a little bit light. Okay, guys. So for the bronzer, we have the LA Girl Velvet Bronzer. I'm going to use this on this e.l.f. Um, 
airbrush blender brush. I think this is a really good brush. There's a lot of product that I just put on there. So we're just going to kind of wipe a little bit off on the product. I will wash the product after this video. Um, but really, we're just going to blend that right above the cheekbone. And it's just going to bring a little bit of contour to the face. This is $4, by the way, um, if anyone wants to know the pricing. And I don't like this one as much as my, um, what is it called? My uh, milk brush, my milk stick, my bad. Um, but it does get the job done. It does give you a little bit of a bronze moment. So I'm not like mad at it or anything. And I feel like for $4, that's amazing. Because like I said, the milk one that I usually use is like $20 maybe. But it'll last you like literally forever. That's the good thing about bronzer is if your bronzer that you are wanting is a little bit more money, it will last a really, really long time before you have to actually go in and get some more. So that's that's a good part about it. Okay, guys, so the bronzer we're going to use is the Milani Silky Matte in shade 01. Um, this is like $7. Um, and honestly, I had a really, really, we're just going to buff this into the skin. But I had a really, really hard time actually finding um a bronzer in my collection that was under five dollars so if you guys have any recommendations please 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 comment down below because yeah i couldn't find anything under five dollars that i thought actually worked nicely so yeah but we're just gonna place this basically everywhere where we put the cream one i always double bronze do you guys double bronze or do you just use just powder or just um just cream like what do you guys do with your routines is there anything in my routine that you guys don't do or that you guys do similar to i don't know i think it's cool that we all have like our own ways of doing things when it comes to makeup okay so yeah i like this little bronzy moment and now we're gonna go into the blush for the blush we also do have a milani product i'm sorry i just really love their face products um, and this is a Milani Bake Blush in Petal Primavera, and this is $6. So, I mean, like, it's not it's not under 5 but it's really, really close. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we have this, and I really, really love the quality. I love that these blushes kind of give their own little glow to the look. I think that these are really good um, for people who don't really like highlighter too much, but that still want to have a nice glow on their cheekbones just very very subtly do you know what i mean so yeah, we're just gonna work this in guys oh i maybe let me know in the comments if next time that i make a video you want to know what brushes i use because i'm really bad at remembering to tell you guys what brushes i use so let me know if that is something i also uh should work on and you guys would be interested in knowing so guys, the other day that I had originally planned to do this video, I was going to talk about a different highlighter. I think it was like the Loose Powder um, Wet n Wild one and I'm So Lit, which that is still an amazing one if you love a loose highlighter. But guys, this Wet n Wild Precious Petals, it's only like a couple dollars. I want to say like three. Woo! And it's so good, guys. Like I just used it the other day and I'm going to show y'all right now because this is, this is, this is it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, do y'all see that? Are you seeing? Woo! Woo! Like, guys, I'm gonna show you on the cheekbone now. This is so beautiful. Because, and I love it because you can build it up or you can leave it just really natural like that. But of course, you know, I gotta I gotta build it up. If you want your highlighter to be even more intense, I suggest spraying your face and then applying the highlighter. You could even put on highlighter, spray your <laughs> spray your face, and then put it back on. Hold on. And guys, I plan to show you guys what my makeup looks like in natural lighting at the very end of this video too. Just so you can see how the products actually look like. And then taking that same highlighter, we're just going to work that into the inner corners as well. Okay, so for highlighter, guys, we have two options. We, they're both photo focused. One is cucumber and it's just like the regular three-in-one base. 
And then we have the uh, the matte one. So I'm gonna pick the cucumber one. The thing that you guys need to know about these if you've never tried them before, also I think they're like $5. But the thing that you need to know about these if you've never used it before is that the sprayer is very, very vigorous. So you're gonna wanna do it far away. So even though I kind of did it from far away, my face still feels very, very wet. So I'm just trying to dry it off. Give me one second. So we're gonna use this. You see, I used the mess out of it because it's so super tiny. This is the Bretman Rock X Color Pop. Um, it's just a brown lip liner. Definitely, if you look up Bretman, you'll be able to find it. This is from ColourPop, so I'd assume it's like five or six dollars. I love this uh, lip liner because it's one of my favorite juicy dark browns. And so now I'm gonna go into this Essence uh, lipstick and porcelain doll to add some nude. And as you can see, that's just like really flattering on the lips. This Essence lipstick is like two or one dollar. Like it's like two or three dollars at most, but I'm pretty sure it's almost like two dollars to be honest. And guys, the last thing that I forgot to do was go back into that original bronzer and add some warmth in the crease area. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Also guys, the lashes that I'm wearing are also only $2 for five. So you do that math and they are very inexpensive as well. Yeah, just adding that warmth, just so everything is very cohesive. So this is the final product guys. And I feel like for nothing in this video going under five, I mean over $5, I think that this is really, really good. Um, I feel like there's so much high-end makeup that I have that would do the exact same thing um, and not too much better. So yeah, how do you guys feel about the look? Oh, well, let me show you with natural lighting. So this is what we're looking like with natural lighting. Let me open my door real quick so you guys can see. Sorry, they're mowing out there. But this is what it looks like. So yeah, tell me if you guys like um, these kind of videos so I can make more.